Hi, Daniel with Daniel Parsons Ministry. Really glad you're here for the Life Journal Bible Reading Plan for the 5th of July. And this day we cover Hosea chapters 2 through 5 in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, we read Hebrews chapter 2. The New King James Version, Hosea chapter 2. The Lord's love for his unfaithful people. Say to your brethren, my people, and to your sisters, mercy is shown. God's unfaithful people. Bring charges against your mother. Bring charges, for she is not my wife, nor am I her husband. Let her put away her harlotries from her sight and her adulteries from between her breasts, lest I strip her naked and expose her as in the day she was born and make her like a wilderness and set her like a dry land and slay her with thirst. I will not have mercy on her children, for they are the children of harlotry, for their mother has played the harlot. She who conceived them has behaved shamefully, for she said, I will go after my lovers who give me my bread and my water, my wool and my linen, my oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up your way with thorns and wall her in so that she cannot find her paths. She will chase her lovers, but not overtake them. Yes, she will seek them, but not find them. Then she will say, I will go and return to my first husband, for then it was better for me than now. Than now. For she did not know that I gave her grain, new wine, and oil, and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for Baal. Therefore I will return and take away my grain in its time, my new wine in its season, and will take back my wool and my linen, given to cover her nakedness. Now I will uncover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers, and no one shall deliver her from my hand. I will also cause all her mirth to cease, her feast days, her new moons, her Sabbaths, all her appointed feasts, and I will destroy her vines and her fig trees, of which she has said, These are my wages that my lovers have given me, so I will make them a forest, and the beast of the field shall eat them. I will punish her for the days of the bales to which she burned incense. She decked herself with her earrings and jewelry and went after her lovers. But me she forgot, says the Lord, God's mercy on his people. Therefore, behold, I will allure her, will bring her into the wilderness and speak comfort to her. I will give her her vineyards from there and the valley of Achor as a door of hope. She shall sing there as in the days of her youth as in the day when she came up from the land of Egypt. And it shall be in that day, says the Lord, that you will call me my husband and no longer call me my master, for I will take her from her mouth the names of the Baals, and they shall be remembered by their name no more. In that day I will make a covenant for them with the beasts of the field, with the birds of the air, and with the creeping things of the ground bow and sword of the battle I will shatter from the earth to make them lie down safely. I will betroth you to me forever. Yes, I will betroth you to me in righteousness and justice and loving kindness and mercy. I will betroth you to me in faithfulness and you shall know the Lord. I'll come to pass in that day that I will answer, says the Lord. I will answer the heavens and they shall answer the earth. The earth shall answer with grain, with new wine, and with oil. They shall answer Jezreel. Then I will sow her for myself in the earth, and I will have mercy on her who had not obtained mercy. Then I will say to those who were not my people, you are my people, and they shall say, you are my God. So as I'm pulling up Hosea chapter 3, I just want to remind you, if you've not been to my blog, I've got hundreds of of spiritual messages on danielparsonsministry.com. So Hosea chapter three, Israel will return to God. Then the Lord said to me, go again, love a woman who is loved by a lover and is committing adultery, just like the love of the Lord for the children of Israel who look to other gods and love the raisin cakes of the pagans. So I bought her for myself for 15 shekels of silver and one and one half homers of barley. And I said to her, you shall stay with me many days. You shall not play the harlot, nor shall you have a man sow 
too will I be toward you. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without king or prince, without sacrifice or sacred pillar, without ephod or teraphim. Afterward, their children of Israel shall return and seek the Lord their God and David their king. They shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. Now I pull up Jose chapter four. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can just search Daniel Parsons Ministry on YouTube. The New King James Version, Hosea chapter 4. God's charge against Israel. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for the Lord brings a charge against the inhabitants of the land. There's no truth or mercy or knowledge of God in the land. They, by swearing and lying, killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break all restraint with bloodshed upon bloodshed. Therefore, the land will mourn, and everyone who dwells there will waste away with the beast of the field, and the birds of the air, and even the fish of the sea will be taken away. Now let no man contend or rebuke another, for your people are like those who contend with the priest. Therefore, you shall stumble in the day. The prophet also shall stumble with you in the night, and I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed. For lack of knowledge, because you have rejected knowledge, I also will reject you from being priest for me, because you have forgotten the law of your God. I will also forget your children. The more they increase, the more they sin against me. I will change their glory into shame. They eat up the sin of my people. They set their heart on their iniquity, and it shall be like people, like priests. So I will punish them for their ways, and I reward them for their deeds. For they shall eat, but not have enough. They shall commit harlotry, but not increase, because they have ceased obeying the Lord, the idolatry of Israel. Harlotry, wine, and new wine enslaved the heart. My people ask counsel from their wooden idols, and their staff informs them. For the spirit of harlotry has caused them to stray, and they have played the harlot against their God. They offer sacrifices on the mountaintops and burn incense on the hills, under oaks, poplars, and terebents, because their shade is good. Therefore, your daughters commit harlotry, and your brides commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they commit harlotry, nor your brides when they commit adultery, for the men themselves go apart with harlots and offer sacrifices with a ritual harlot. Therefore, people who do not understand will be trampled, Though you, Israel, play the harlot, let not Judah offend. Do not go up to Gilgal, nor go up to Beth Avim, nor swear an oath, saying, As the Lord lives. For Israel is stubborn, like a stubborn calf. Now the Lord will let them forage, like a lamb in open country. Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. Their drink is rebellion. They commit harlotry continually. His Rulers, her rulers dearly love dishonor. Their, the wind has wrapped her up in its wings, and they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices. Now we're pulling up Hebrews chapter uh, 5. I'm sorry, Hosea chapter 5. We don't have Hebrews just yet. Ending judgment on Israel and Judah, Hosea chapter 5. Hear this, O priest. Take heed, O house of Israel. Give ear, O house of the king, for yours is the judgment, because you have been a snare to Mizpah and a net spear spread on Tabor. <clears throat> the revolters are deeply involved in slaughter, though I rebuke them all. I know Ephraim, and Israel is not hidden from me. For now, O Ephraim, you commit harlotry. Israel is defiled. They do not direct their deeds toward turning to their God, for the spirit of harlotry is in their midst, and they do not know the Lord. The pride of Israel testifies to his face. Therefore, Israel and Ephraim stumble in their iniquity. Judah, Judah also stumbles with them. With their flocks and herds, they shall go to seek the Lord, but they will not find him. He has withdrawn himself from them. They have dealt treacherously with the Lord, for they have begotten pagan children. Now a new moon shall devour them and their heritage. Blow the ram's horn in Gibeah, the trumpet in Ramah, cry aloud at Beth Avim. Look behind you, 
O Benjamin, Ephraim shall be desolate in the day of rebuke. Among the tribes of Israel, I make known what is sure. The princes of Judah are like those who remove a landmark. I will pour out my wrath on them like water. Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment because he willingly walked by human precept. Therefore, I will be to Ephraim like a moth and to the house of Judah like rottenness. When Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah saw his wound, then Ephraim went to Assyria and sent to King Jerob. Yet he cannot cure you nor heal you of your wound. For I will be like a lion to Ephraim and like a young lion to the house of Judah. I even I will tear them and go away. I will take them away and no one shall rescue. I will return again to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Then they will seek my face and their affliction. They will earnestly seek me. And so that's the end of the Old Testament for today. Now we'll pull up Hebrews chapter 2, which is our New Testament verse for today. And the Bible reads, Do not neglect salvation. Therefore, we must give the more earnest heed to the things we have heard lest we drift away. For if the word spoken through angels pro proved steadfast, and if every transgression and disobedience received a just reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed to us by those who heard him? God also <clears throat> bearing witness both with signs and wonders with various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit according to his own will. Son made lower than angels, for he has not put the world to come of which we speak in subjection to angels, but one testified in a certain place saying, what is man that you are mindful of him or the son of man that you take care of him? You have made him a little lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor and set him over the works of your hands. You have put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But now we do not yet see all things put under him. But we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of God might taste death for everyone bringing many sons to glory for it was fitting for him for whom are all things and by whom are all things and bringing many sons to glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings for both he who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all of one for which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren saying I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will sing praise to you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, here I am in the children of whom God has given me. And as much then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is the devil, and release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For indeed, he does not give aid to angels, but he does give aid to the seed of Abraham. Therefore, in all things, he had to be made like his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to aid those who are tempted. And that's the end of the Bible reading for today. I will hope to see you on tomorrow's reading. Bye for now.